Okay, welcome to Electron Line. And in order for us to understand the relationship between resistivity and temperature a little bit better, we're going to try and find the resistance of a 50 meter long copper wire that has a diameter of 1.02 millimeters, which is about the diameter of an 18 gauge wire. So we're going to find the resistance both at zero degrees centigrade at 100 degrees centigrade. We also know that the resistance can be calculated by multiplying the resistivity times the length of the wire divided by the cross-sectional area. That's pretty straightforward. And we also know that the resistivity as a function of temperature changes according to this equation right here. So first we're going to find the resistivity at the two temperatures. So the resistivity when the temperature is equal to zero degrees centigrade is equal to the resistivity at 20 degrees centigrade, which is given right here, the constant. So 1.72 times 10 to the minus 8 ohms times meters. I'll include the units because that way it'll be a little bit easier to see how this works. Times 1 plus, this is the temperature coefficient which is given as 0 0.003393. So uh, 0 0.00393 per centigrade degree. And then we multiply that times the difference in the temperature. So the temperature of interest would be 0 degrees centigrade minus and that would be 20 degrees centigrade all right then we close bracket i had to go down a little bit because i was running out of room there okay now we need a calculator so that would be uh, 20 times 0 0.00393 we add that to one and let me write the intermediate value so you get kind of an appreciation for how this works so that's the resistivity at temperature equals zero degrees centigrade is equal to 1.72 times 10 to the minus eight ohms times meters times, and when I combine this, it's 20 times 0 0.00393, that's a minus, I add that plus one, that's a better result here, so it's 0 0.00393. 9214. Again, the idea is that this is almost an 8% difference from the value you would have at 20 degrees centigrade. So about an 8 degree difference in the resistance of that wire when the temperature goes down to 0 degrees centigrade. All right, now we can multiply that times that value. So times 1.72 e to the 8 minus, and we get the resistivity at the temperature equals to zero degrees centigrade is equal to 1.58 times 10 to the minus eight ohms times meters. All right, so you see that it's not a lot less, but somewhat less than it would be at 20 degrees centigrade. Now we'll do the same thing for 100 degrees centigrade. So the resistivity when the temperature equals 100 degrees centigrade equals, so now again we need to do the same thing. We start with the base resistivity at 20 degrees centigrade, 1.72 times 10 to the minus eight ohms times meters, times one plus 0 0.00393 per centigrade degree. And then we multiply times the difference in the temperature, but notice this will now be a positive quantity because it'll be a 100 degrees centigrade minus 20 degrees centigrade. That'll be a positive 80, so make sure I get the signs correct. So let's work that out. So we have uh, 80 times 0 0.00393, and uh, we add that to plus one. So let me write the intermediate value down. So resistivity at the temperature equal to 100 degrees centigrade is equal to 1.72 times 10 to the minus eight ohms times meters. And we multiply that to a quantity of 1.3144. Notice that the resistivity in the copper wire, since we now raise the temperature from 20 degrees centigrade to 100 degrees centigrade, has increased by 31%, which is fairly significant. So now that means that the resistivity, when the temperature is equal to 100 degrees centigrade, is equal to, multiply the times, 1.72 e to the 8 minus equals, and it'll now be 2.26 times 10 to the minus 8 ohms times meter. So a significant increase in the resistivity at 100 degrees centigrade. Now, what will be the resistance of the wire under those circumstances? So the resistance when the temperature is equal to 0 degrees centigrade is equal to the resistivity, which now is at 1.58, 1.58 
times 10 to the minus 8 ohms times meters. Multiply that times the length, which is 50 meters. And divide by the cross-sectional area, which is basically a circle, so it would be pi, times the radius, which is half the diameter, so 0 0.00051, that's half of 1.02, and of course in meters, squared. All right, so let's see what we get. So 1.58 exponent a minus times 50 divided by pi and divided by 0 0.00051 squared equals, and so we have a resistance at temperature equal to 0 degrees centigrade, and that's equal to 0 0.00. 967 ohm. So just shy of 1 ohm for a 50 meter long wire. Okay, what about 100 degrees centigrade? So R, when temperature is equal to 100 degrees centigrade, notice the only thing that has changed is this quantity right here. So we're going to divide our answer by this quantity and then multiply it by the new resistivity right here. So take that and divide by 1.58 and multiply that times 2.26 and we get Resistance of 1.383 ohms. And notice that there is a significant difference in the resistance in the wiring when the temperature goes to zero and on the hand goes to 100 degrees centigrade. And that's how we do that.